I booked my ticket to Tenerife for 40 euro round trip. Made it, check it out. This is the beach right down here, Playa Las Americas. We're in Tenerife. I'm leaving again, I'm going back to Spain, to Tenerife, the island in the Canaries where the weather should be fabulous. It's a perfect getaway. I'm gonna explain in this video all the logistics for getting, I made myself a coffee to go. All the logistics for getting there, what things cost from the flight to the rental car, and why you should put Tenerife on your to-do list when you're thinking about a warm getaway in Europe. Now, I gotta get out of here. My first destination, a flight from the Pisa airport. It's cold here in Florence. It's like three degrees Celsius. We're getting out of Italy. Almost drove off with this thing on the roof. Okay, now let's go. What are the Canary Islands? Well, it's this group of islands off the northwest coast of Africa. They're Spanish islands, but it's practically Africa, just off the African continent. And there are eight big islands. Tenerife is the biggest. I was just down there last month in December, but I got a great deal to return. So I'm heading down for a little bit of sunshine to escape this European cold. The other islands are Las Palmas, La Gran Canaria, Fuerteventura, and Lanzarote. They all make great destinations. Tenerife I like because it's diverse. It's a big island. You have the volcano. You have all the beaches. You have a lot of things on offer. Now why visit in December, the winter time? Well, the prices are lower and later on in the video I'm going to talk about the prices, what the airline costs, what the hotel, my Airbnb cost. Prices are lower and it's a great European escape and you're still in Europe so you don't have to deal with any of the regulations on traveling in and out of Europe. Temperatures around 20 degrees in the winter time, 70 to 75 degrees and that's a big difference from here on the mainland of Europe. And in the summertime, it gets a little bit warmer, but the great thing is it never rains year round in the Canary Islands. At the airport here in Pisa, Italy, but let's talk about how you can get to Tenerife or any of the Canary Islands. Well, in Europe, most of the airports serve the Canary Islands. Italy offers many low-cost flights. I booked my ticket to Tenerife for 40 euro round trip. That's amazing. Tenerife is the only island that has two airports. The other islands only have one major airport. Gran Canaria and Tenerife are the two major islands for flying in and out. And from there, you can use that as a hub. If you wanna visit the other islands, you can take a ferry and go around to the other islands by ferry. So it's super convenient. Now, if you wanna fly from the United States, there are no direct flights currently, but I have heard that they're thinking about reinstating a direct flight from New York to Tenerife so that's something to look out for currently the flight times from New York to Tenerife or the Canary Islands are ten and a half hours to a little bit more you can get flights with only one stop most of those fly through the mainland of Spain with the layover in Madrid and then BAM right down to the Canary Islands prices well there are some deals to be had because I had a look and you can get a ticket right now for around 250 euro round trip that's a bargain. Regularly, the tickets are running around 500 euros, around $600 for the flight to and from New York City to the Canary Islands. But definitely keep your eye out on those bargains. And another thing is if you're already here in Europe and you have a long stay in Europe, plan a trip down to the Canary Islands because from Europe's mainland airports, these low cost airlines like Ryanair, which is what I'm flying today, and EasyJet, they offer flights to and from for next to nothing. Look at this, got the Piedina. Airport prices, six euro 50 cents for this, but I love the Piedina. It doesn't have all that bread. I don't want all that bread, just this flat bread. Some prosciutto and some cheese, it's good. Now I've already made another video on traveling in Europe in the times of coronavirus and all the information you need to know. So I invite you to go check out those videos. When I got here to the airport, I saw that they do COVID testing here. Most major airports in Europe do COVID testing at the airport if you need a COVID test for the destination where you're traveling to. Spain does not require a COVID test to enter the country. All you need to show is your vaccination card. And for Europeans, that's the green pass or that QR code. If you're not from Europe, you have your vaccination card. Now bear in mind, the rules are changing all the time. 
In Spain, for example, as of February 1st, your vaccination's only valid if you had your last dose of the COVID vaccine in the last nine months. So keep that in mind. And Italy's changing too. Soon they're gonna make it six months. So stay up to date on all the rules and go back and watch some of my other videos. But keep in mind, where you're traveling, you're gonna need to fill out forms online first for the country. Spain has a super easy form. You just visit the country's website and go to the health department section. There you fill out the information, what flight you're on, what seat number you're in. So you're going to want to check into your flight first and the location you're staying in your destination. It's super easy. Check in first for your flight, then go fill out that form. Hey, just one note. If you're finding this video useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Quick coffee. Then I'm going to go board my flight. Stick with me because at the end of this video, when I get to Tenerife, I'm going to give you all the details on the island. It's beautiful. The weather's going to be great. The pricing information on Airbnb is on the island. But first, we got to board the flight. I've made it. This is Tenerife. The weather is already better, even if it's a little bit overcasted. I got the short sleeves on, and what could be better? So let's go get the car. Rental car place is right over here. Picking it up, then heading to the Airbnb. This is it, my little French car, Renault Clio. I paid 176 euro for this for seven days. It's a mini category, the smallest category they had, and I got a good bargain. I booked it only one day in advance. I was trying to book a car a month out, and it cost more, and I made a mistake, and I didn't even book it. One day out, I booked this, 176 euro. Now we just have a 20 minute drive from here to Playa Las Americas. And that's where I'm staying over the next seven days. And when I get there, and when I get there, hopefully it's before the sun goes down, I'm gonna give you the tour of my Airbnb apartment and show you what I'm paying. Made it, check it out. This is the beach right down here palm trees up above this is playa las americas we're in tenerife and it's gonna be a good week now i just need to find my airbnb give you a quick tour of my airbnb i am exhausted this is it now i paid a bit much because at the last minute there weren't too many airbnbs in this location it's got a big couch here out here check it out this is where i'm going to be sipping my morning coffee and watching the sun come up and watching the sun go down over tenerife so it's got this beautiful balcony a lot of space in this place and it's a bit bigger than actually what i needed and the last time i was here but as i said it was a bit last minute this is the main bed up here and if i have a couple of little friends drop by they could sleep there and the bathroom nothing too special but it's all about the location here in Tenerife and this is a beautiful location. So overall for this place, it costs just over 700 for seven nights, 720, and that's 100 euro a night. So hunt around and you can find places that are close to the beach. This is only about a two minute walk down to the beach and it's a perfect place and there's parking nearby and plenty of options so I can get out and explore the island over the next week. 